Hi everybody, this is Spring with Soaps and Suds and Such, and today I'm going to be making my Itch Away Herbal Soap. This one I'm going to hot process. Um, it is heavily infused with the herbs that I use in this soap. I have a lot of customers that uh, say that it helps their rosacea. Um, several say it helps psoriasis. Others with eczema, I've got one that has eczema and psoriasis and uses this soap and says that it helps her, her skin. Um, poison oak, of course, I've got loads that bite for um, in case they get poison oak or if they get poison oak or ivy or sumac. Um, but it is actually my best selling soap. And I've been out for a while, so I've got a lot of people wanting it. Um, this is one that honestly I should be making a lot more of because it, it sells better than any of my other soaps. And I also wanted to show you while I'm waiting on my oils to get ready. My son is making me different columns for column pouring and this is one that he made me. If you can see it, hopefully. But um, that's for column pouring. He also made me a cylinder for column pouring, kind of like um, a bullet, not quite as pointed as a bullet, maybe a silo or something, but um, he made me that for column pouring. And then he made me a Smurf, Papa Smurf, which I think is just darling. And today I'm going to be using a new mold that my husband bought me. And it's the, I can't remember exactly what he called it, HDP or something or another. I'll put a link. He got it off of Etsy. And, um, but I did, did have to put paper in it because it has slits so that I can cut the bars. And it also came with two more molds that look like this. And a cutter for the one that I had to uh, put the paper in. And then he also bought me what I call a monster. <laughs> He said it was a stick blender on steroids for making large batches of soap. It definitely has some power and I'll put a link where I got that from too if you need something this big. <laughs> I think he's trying to tell me I need to make more soap. <laughs> but I'll be back as soon as my oils get ready. Hi everybody. While my oils were melding, my hard oils, I just wanted to uh, start picking some more flowers. And if you can see this, this is white clover. I am going to be making white clover jelly. And so I will infuse those. And I have pansies, a jar full of pansies. But I'm also going to be making pansy jelly. And, of course, I've got more violets infusing. But I just wanted to show you what I've been doing while my oils have been melting. And I'll come back as soon as I get ready to do the soap. Okay, I've got the lye already in this one. So I'm going to start blending. I need to put my gloves on. So I don't get burned up by lye. I'm on, I'm a video one, babe. Thank <laughs> you. 
cook that one up. Ready to start cooking. And we'll cut it all the way up to let it get started. And then I'll cut it back down. Top it with the lid. I'll bring you back when I get ready to pour the line to this one. Okay, I'm back. I had so much to do today. Well, I'm going to mix my lye water solution into the oils. And this is, has got herbs in it. I know the lye probably kills some of it, but... Uh, uh, back away. Back away. I've got lye. Go on. My little girl wanting to get over here with me whenever I'm dealing with lies. She knows better than that. It's dangerous. Okay, I'm going to stir that in just a little bit. Stick blend it a little bit too. Yeah, this is my itch away soap. And it is heavily infused with herbs. A lot of herbs in here. Or a lot of herb. Um, not that many different herbs, but what's in it is heavy. This one I initially make for poison oak and ivy, sumac, but I have a lot of people that just love it. Today I've been picking um, clover and pansies, the violets for jelly, and I'm going to be doing um, a red clover and rose petal jelly. You can use lots of flowers for jellies. Um, you just need to check on edible flowers. I may video when I do those. Okay, I've got them covered. They are cooking uh, slowly right now. What I was saying about um, my lye water having herb in it, when I make, anytime I'm, I use a infused tea to make in, my soap instead of using water, I like to freeze that. Um, I feel like therefore if I freeze it, the lye will not kill every bit of it or hurt it uh, completely. Now, whether that's true or not, I'm not sure. Um, it may destroy it all, but I think by freezing it, I will get more of a chance of it not destroying it by, you know, just mixing it, you know, like infusing my waters right then and mixing them with lye. I think um, by it being cold, just like, um, anytime using milk 
Uh, now I will use my cream in my soaps, uh, but if I'm using like goat's milk or buttermilk or any milk in my lye solution, I will freeze it. And I feel like that helps uh, to keep it from, you know, destroying the goodness completely in the milk. And uh, this soap, actually, this right here is what my oil, this one I super fat because this right here is loaded with some really good herbs that have been um, steeping in this oil for some time and um, is very potent. So I always do large quantities. I've got another container over there of my oils. Um, when I'm dealing with this soap or skin renewal, I like to do my oils and my waters or teas in uh, large batches. And therefore it takes me probably all day just to do skin renewal. I mean, it, it is a process, but it has so many different herbs. And um, then I will do my oils, get them going, get them steeping and um, infusing with the uh, herbs in there in my jar and um, once they get done then I will strain them with cheesecloth um, I do store them in the refrigerator most of the time most of my herbs uh, oils that's infused I will store in the refrigerator some of them I don't um, but this is one that I do and my skin renewal I do and um, this one is going to have cream. It's going to have um, collodial, a little bit of collodial oatmeal, um, because that's that's really I think that's good for your skin. I mean, this soap I have so many customers that say that it helps with their eczema and the psoriasis. The collodial oatmeal should add to that, helping it, you know, with those things. Um, it also will have. Um, herb that's dry in it um, it has tea tree oil which I have right in here that's tea tree essential oil it also has the oil I just showed you that is infused um, a lot of people buy the tea tree oil that you can buy in the store for your hair. That's not the same as this. Um, to my opinion, that's for your hair. This is an essential, and uh, you know, there is a difference in those two. It, that one, the essential oil, and then the oil that you buy in the store for your hair that says tea tree oil. Big difference. But I'll bring you back once I get this. To doing its thing and turning over and um, show you what it looks like and hopefully get it going well we're still cooking I'm going to stir I like to stir this one I don't stir them every time I do hot process during the cook but I do my itch away
mix that up good. my powdered herb do the next one and then I will bring you back okay I'm ready to mold this I did mix in my um, tea tree oil and I put them both in one container molds. I hope they do good. Yeah, I'm going to have to fill up another mold. This one isn't going to hold all this soap. And these you're not supposed to have to line them is what it said on Etsy. So but this one I had to line because it's got the cutting slots, so I had to line it. Don't do a lot to this one. This is a very natural soap. If you like herbs. A good one. Kind of get that up from the edge. And this soap, um, I did test it. Um, after I unmolded, I could actually you know, use it right then. I will go by how it looks once I unmold it and how soft it is and, um, as to whether I let it cure any at all because I have got a lot of people that's waiting on this one. I've got certain customers that won't use anything else. Okay, that one is ready. Let's put one more towel. Let's put that one over there and I'm going to return and get a new, another mold to put that in. Well, here they are. I've got two two molds with the itch away, and uh, these do contain jewelweed. Jewelweed actually um, can combat poison oak, poison ivy, and sumac. 
and it grows um, on creek banks. A wonderful, wonderful plant. Um, you can do a lot more with jewelweed, but I won't go into that. Um, it has that in it though, and some other herbs. And um, I wanted to show you um, this right here. A sticker I need to get off there, but this is my pansies that I uh, started infusing today. And they have already turned the water purple. I mean dark purple. And um, that will make some wonderful jelly. And this is spring with soaps and suds and such. And I hope you have a blessed day. I will put links to um, where I got my uh, molds and um, my new um, emulsion blender. And um, I'm awaiting my order um, for my beveler and planer off of Etsy. I can't wait. He is also making me a stamp with my logo on it, so I'm tickled to death over that. And uh, as soon as I get that, I will be showing you that and putting a link to him um, because uh, I have been waiting to get a stamp for a long time. But uh, I hope you all have a blessed night. And um, this is spring with soaps and suds and such. And God bless you.